What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Video Game Wondercast. I'm your host, Rocky Linderman. Joining me today, I have Wyatt the Wise. Hello. And Destro the Destroyer. Howdy. You have stumbled across our special E3 predictions episode. Very special. So we've we've <laughs> each got five predictions for the big three companies. We got some other minor predictions for some of the third-party studios and such. Uh, with that being said, we're going to hop in with Microsoft first. Anyone want to take the first stab? Uh, I'll go ahead with mine. Uh, Microsoft's Halo, of course, so it's hard to really do... I really actually had trouble coming up with all three of the big three. Uh, Nintendo was definitely easiest. Uh, <laughs> they won't be there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm happy to suck at Nintendo anyway. <laughs> all right. So we have decided we're going to play a little game out of our E3 predictions. One of us is going to say their prediction, and then the other two will either yay or nay it. If it's a yay, we think it's going to go down. If it's a nay, we're thinking you're full of shit. So <laughs> we're going to start out with Microsoft first, and we're going to have Wyatt bring up his first prediction. Um, my first prediction will be a new Gears. Uh, it's been hinted at for the last year. Bits and pieces have kind of filtered out through the media. I really think, and it's been, what, two, three years now since Judgment? I think it's two years. I think this year was two. Yeah. And uh, I don't know what they'll do with the new Gears. I hope it... I never even got to play Judgment they'll yet. They'll probably start a new trilogy. Do. I bet you. Yeah, but what are you going to do with that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, can, they can do anything they want. But really. that's, that was really my number one prediction of anything for Microsoft is the new Gears. I'm going to go ahead and say a yay on that one. I shall yay that as well. Yeah, I think uh, it, you're right. It's been a long time, and we know that new studio that they acquired is, has already been said that they're working on Gears right. titles for the future. That's so. what Gears TV show, apparently. See, my personal... What? Yeah, we'll talk about that in a minute, because okay. I have something on that. See, what I feel the main theme for this E3 is going to be is we've got the systems, now we need the games. Yeah, you know, that's like, exactly what this like, year's going to be about. They've got the systems out, and so this year, everyone's going to bring their heavy hitters this year. Exactly. I have a big feeling we're going to have a lot of big games. They're going to have a lot, yeah. Because this, last year was all about the consoles. Yeah. This year's definitely going to be about you the know, games. That's the only thing, that's the, everyone's biggest complaint about every system is they just don't have a lot of games. And so I really feel like that's, so that's what this focus this year. Yeah. Yeah. No. All right, my first prediction for Microsoft was we're going to get to see our first gameplay of Halo 5 Guardians. That's a yay. Yeah, that, yeah. That's an easy prediction. I wasn't even going to... Like, my... Pre yeah. That was my... I had picked... I picked out three different things for each company that I said was just going to be a given. I just wrote down Halo, because there's... <laughs> Microsoft's going to... We got maybe Halo 2 Anniversary, or maybe the rumor for the Master Chief Collection, which will be one through four, not counting ODST and Reach. That Remaster one sounds... for the one. That sounds way too wild to me. That sounds like a lot more work than that just... That sounds... I, that, that's a big... That might be a nay for me, too, but that's just a rumor. Halo 2 Anniversary is what I, I mean I really want, but if they did the Master Chief Collection, I would die. I, I'd love to have <laughs> that. That That is that is kind of wild, but there's been several rumors keep floating around about it. I guess we'll find out on the 9th. Mm. All right, Destry, what's your first one for Microsoft? Fable. Something in the Fable universe to show That's a good one. You yeah. Know? I mean, I, I actually, I think they just recently confirmed. Have they actually confirmed that Halo, I mean, I that or I mean, Fable that. Legends? What I don't know. That? What is that? Is that like a party game? I know. I, know I don't think a... it's a new Fable Fable game. Uh, it's the new multiplayer they... Fable game where yeah. you can have four players, uh, dungeon crawl style. Yeah, that sounds kind of cool. I'd like to see it, but yeah, uh, then I guess mine doesn't count. Um, well, then I guess for well, Xbox exclusive. Probably some crappy dance game. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> dance, connect dancing, people love that shit. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. don't know why, but they do. I don't, yeah, I don't know why either, but yeah. people like that crap. Well, we'll expect to see some of their airtime go to that. I mean, All yeah, right. they're going to push connect anyway. I can yay that. All right. Um, <laughs> Boring, but yeah. I think for another prediction for me was uh, they're going to, I remember during the last generation, and they may have actually said it last year, but I don't remember them doing it, but uh, more Call of Duty limited exclusivity, uh, yeah. where they would get their deals. Microsoft got DLC first for Call of Duty for about three months, and then it came on the PS3. They pushed that a lot last uh, last few Call of Duties, and I really, I mean, I guess it's kind of a big money market for them, too. Uh, whether or not that will, that'll sell off consoles, I don't know. I don't think it would, in my opinion, but p people love Call of Duty. Uh, but I don't know that I couldn't remember last year if they did it or not, and I didn't bother looking it up. <laughs> yeah, I, what do you I'm, think? Yay or nay? That's or a yay. I, I think, think they'll think they'll have 
pay that money again. I think with Ghosts, they've already done it on Xbox platform. So, so I might be, I might be out of time. I might be out of loop. Yeah, they. I mean, I, that's a long-standing tradition between Activision and Microsoft that I think will still be going. And especially, that's, not, that's actually not that long. Oh. Started in uh, Modern Warfare Three. Oh, really? Was the first time I okay. remember it. Well, see, now they have Destiny to counteract it too with Sony. So neither company is t- like right. actually mad at them because I think Destiny has the same type of uh, deal I'm, going on. You think so? I don't yeah, know. it does. Okay. You know what I'd like to see actually? This E3 uh, is uh, we're talking about exclusives. I would love to see a new big exclusive name. You know, like how whenever the Xbox 360 came out, Halo of course was there, but Gears of War was like massive I, new exclusive that you was know. another one of my so predictions what if that'd be great if they had something completely new just start up an entirely new exclusive be like we don't know where this is going yet but here's something new we've got i coming. said three just three that that'd be mm-hmm. big for microsoft just only three of them but i say three big exclusives three like three Halo new Gears exclusives and for microsoft not and you know there's already mm-hmm. have what was uh over uh this sunset overdrive so which i saw gameplay the gameplay thing about it. it actually looks really fun does it yeah uh it looks sort of like uh dead rising but with a lot of parkour in it so it looked, <laughs> i was like this is gonna be awesome i read about it but it didn't pert- like <laughs> peak my interest so i didn't really look into it more than well, I that just, i just saw it on my one when i was just did them around. They had their first gameplay trailer, and I watched that's it. That's cool. And that's from Insomniac Games, right? Yes. Yeah. And I actually was reading about that. It's like, why did y'all do it only exclusively with Microsoft? Because, well, Sony wouldn't let us do it. So we went to Microsoft, and they said, go for it. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> All right. So for my second prediction, I'm going to go ahead and say we got Phil Spencer coming out on stage being like, oh, gamers we took away the connect what's that's, so cool that's gonna that's a yay <laughs> i know they're gonna after last year's curve stomp sunny gave <laughs> yeah, in the pr shit. department uh they're gonna come out and be toting that it'll be like the year before where sunny came out and apologized for the outage for the network outage for oh, that, those yeah. months yeah. that was the most Teeth grinding, boring Sony conference ever. <laughs> I, I I don't like Sony conferences anyway, but that one was terrible. Every two seconds, we're sorry. We're sorry. We're sorry. We're sorry. Yeah, sorry. Exactly. That's, exactly. I remember before I had my uh, PS3 making fun of one of my friends who played exclusively on a PS3 about that outage because I was like, "How's PS Plus treating you?" <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, what do you guys? While we're on that subject, what do you think about the new connectless Xbox One? Go for it. I mean, it's <laughs> it's up to you. I have mine, and then you sent me a text asking what I think, and I said we'd wait till this. I know I don't care. Uh, head head. I'm glad I have mine because I like yelling. I love the voice. I, I really do. I like the sign in with it. I I think the new Kinect is going to be cool. That's one thing I'm looking forward to seeing. Is they're actually looking forward to Microsoft toting the Kinect this time, just because. It hasn't have nothing really totes it yet, and then, and just from like the little bit I've seen of it, like its camera picks up so much better, yeah. and I want to I want to see Microsoft actually do something with it this year. Um, do have, you think the chances are going down now that they're dropping it though? Of them actually, no. have, you don't think so? Nah, because <laughs> uh, I mean, Connect never showed up in the Xboxes until uh, the Star Wars Xbox. And that's the one I got, and that's the reason I had a Connect for the original Xbox, or the 360, rather. And uh, I don't think that's going to hurt their chances at all. Uh, I think they're going to try pushing it to where you have you want to buy you that you want to buy the that you want to throw down the extra hundred dollars. Had I bought my one the day before they announced that, I might have been annoyed, but it had been a month and a half, and I've had. And it's just like the original Connect. I liked yelling at my 360, and I got to where I I got to where that if I was not at my 360, even now playing on it, I want to yell at it, and I know it's not the Connect's not hooked up to it, and it just it's just not it doesn't really matter, but it's there in the background, and I forget, and you know I get used to it. So I, I'm not I'm not mad that I paid out a hundred dollars, and if I want to see Microsoft come out uh, a week from now, a little bit more than a week from now, come out and hit hard on the Connect. And actually deliver. Yeah, see, if nothing else, it's you're supporting that technology. You're right. Because, you know, they, they've got good stuff. They can still do more. I would like to see what they can do. So if nothing else, you're helping that boost its way. Because it's, it's, it would be sad for it to have gotten this far, and then they decide, you know what, forget it, scrap it entirely. Like, and, I remember you know. seeing uh, Star Wars Connect for the first time, and I thought that could be great. It could be, yeah. But the, it, the, te- the original the tech Connect good was not yet. good yeah. enough. Yeah. I don't know if the, this current Connect is either, but it's, but it's a lot. It's though. a 
bigger step in that direction. Like yeah. I said, the camera just from it picking us up sitting on the couch, just sitting there. It yeah. with this lights off in the room, it looks like it's bright lights. It like it has its own camera shine, like a spotlight shining on us. And I think it'll I just I want to see Microsoft come out and be here's our connect. This is why you need to buy one. Hit me with it. See, that's kind of the thing, though, because, I mean, if they drop it from the boxes, are they going to be less concentrated on the Kinect? Are, are, and third-party studios certainly aren't going to necessarily be pushing the Kinect as much right. anymore. Like, Harmonix came out, and they have that game, Fantasia, that's a Kinect-exclusive game. Mm -hmm. And they're like, oh, great. Well, thanks for cutting our install base down. Yeah. We appreciate that. Um, so it's kind of like that sort of thing. Microsoft may have not necessarily had a clear vision for what the Kinect can do as far as games are involved. Right. Just like on the Wii U gamepad, you know, there's this thing that nobody knows what to do with. Right, and they need to learn from Nintendo because the Wii U's been out for two years almost. Mm -hmm. They need to have learned from Nintendo. Like I said, they need to come out Monday. And I actually love Microsoft conferences, even though the, some of the ones that they get Kinect heavy on are, are kind of slagging. But I would watch a Microsoft conference over a Sony conference any day because they actually get out and they actually sound like they're wanting to do something. They they actually come out actually. I, it's, that was my given for Sony was it's going to be boring. Well, the guy Jack Trent that Trent you hate is so gone. much is gone. Thank yeah. God. <laughs> I, that's I was going to bring that up during the so when we talk about Sony, but thank God he is uh, gone because that man could not sell. God, he's so boring. I, I he is pretty boring. I agree. So I mean, I was falling asleep <laughs> last year. It was the Sunday one was what me and you watched it kind of the same time, even though yeah. we were two different places. But it was so boring. The games were great. Watching, you know, the wow. game wise and PR wise. Well, okay, let me rephrase that. They were good games, and I actually remembered more from the games for them than I do the Microsoft conference. So I'm gonna chuck yeah, that that's at true. a win. Sony's conference last year, the big thing was. Hey, you the just slamming Microsoft on their PR system. That the the uh, um, their PR was that was the only reason the Sony conversation turned out to be good. That was the moment I decided I wasn't gonna get an Xbox One for the new generation. Eh, I I don't want to limit myself. I still want to get a. You're four. an Xbox fanboy. No, I'm uh, <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm a console fanboy. Get it right. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess that's enough about the Kinectless Xbox One. Uh, Destry, what's your th what are we on two second this prediction? Be two. All right. What's your second prediction for Microsoft? For Microsoft. Oh man. Um, well, Microsoft specifically, I don't know. They'll probably end up doing something that'll connect it with the PC better. You know. Something with smart glass. Yeah. I don't know. Or just I don't. I don't know. They they do too much with connecting it to Windows Eight and. Uh, I don't know. They'll probably end up doing something like that. Like we can do this on your computer now, and your computer can do this, and. And now we've got more squares on your screen. <laughs> more squares on your screen. That's so. funny. Um, I'm going to nay that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, 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 that we, I didn't know we were doing five for each. I wouldn't nay that as well. Uh, yeah, no, we All right, five. Wyatt. Well, I, we've talked about two of mine uh, during the other ones, so I'm just going to... My last one really I have that we haven't already talked about, uh, just some more Titanfall DLC. Titanfall, I think, maybe not the biggest hit that they wanted, but it is probably it is the best thing on the one right now. I think they're going to come out with I know the new DLC just uh, dropped last week or week before last. And are you picking it up? I would like to because some of the maps look really cool. I just haven't had the money. Um, but uh, I think they're going to announce the next DLC for Titanfall and maybe uh, just some just something some more information about Titanfall. Okay. Uh, that's a yay. Yeah. I mean, Titanfall is their biggest yeah. franchise out on the one right now. Yeah, I agree. Give it a yay. Oh, I know something else I can say, but go ahead. Um, so I, too, had the newest chapter in the Gears universe on my prediction will be announced. Um, so we'll go ahead and skip that one. And then I had Halo 2 Anniversary as announced and given a release date. Which we, we talked about. Yeah. I mean, it's it it's Halo is a given. They've already said when they announced Halo 5 uh, last week that we're, something Halo is coming out this year. I really want it to be that Master Chief collection, but I'll be happy with Halo 2 Anniversary. Yeah. And then my my last prediction, I'll just go ahead and toss it out, was Microsoft, because this is the only one that um, we haven't necessarily covered yet. 
I think the Halo TV show is going to be at E3 in pretty I big force. I think that's that was one of mine. That was also against. I was going to say. I think they're going to just tout Xbox TV in general, not just Halo show. Yeah. But they have, uh, like I said, Gears. Halo. They actually announced a Gears one. Uh, this was. I saw it on Shack News. This was last week, a week before last. My weeks run together. But they were talking about uh, all these new t- uh, Xbox TV shows. There was actually a Gears one in the, in, in the works. Nothing was really announced yet on it yet or who's doing it. But they actually have one. They're getting kind of strip, uh, scripts ready to go. And that sounds pretty cool. I hope it does work. I think uh, I think the Xbox TV sounds just cool in general. Um, I don't know. If, I don't know how well it's going to work. But I think that's definitely a yay. Uh, they're going to... I think they're going to push it because they they use a small little conference during May and like kind of like when they did the, the one announcement, but this time was not as big, of course. And uh, I think a Halo Xbox TV is going to they're going to show it. I there. agree. Yeah, they're going to end up doing just a couple games, and it's going to be a lot of tech of like I don't think we've it's, got this kind of. I don't think it's going to be just a couple games, but I don't think they're going to have a whole whole lot of games. I, well, I don't know, maybe maybe this is, we just talked. This is the this is the year for games. Uh, that's all my. That's really all I have my for Microsoft. All right, that's you. You have any more? Or, okay. Well, let's go ahead and hop on into Sony. Um, I guess uh, I'll open it up this time. So we're gonna have right off the bat. Sony's gonna try to alleviate fears about the direction of the new Uncharted game by having gameplay, having a trailer, having uh, a lot of talk about the team that's currently working on it and how it's in very good hands. Oh, so there is an Uncharted 4 already announced? Yeah. Oh, I missed that someday. I, that was one of my predictions. I uh, didn't know it had already been they're announced. Working, they're working on it. They just, they just scalped a lot of the crew. Yeah, they oh, lost... I missed all, I've missed all that. I the, haven't heard that at all. They lost the main director for the Uncharted oh. franchise, an art director, the guy that did the music. They lost um, oh. They lost a bunch of like key players from the series. Dude, I'm going to go ahead and say yay to that. They will be touting out the new one, trying to alleviate fears. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. That knocks out one of mine, too, I guess. All right. Destry, what you got? Uh, I can see them doing a God of War game. God of War hasn't been, uh, you know, for the four, yeah. Because I can see them; they they need big names to get people to want to buy the four. So I can see them saying, "Hey, we've got God of War coming up soon," like along with Uncharted. I think that's one of their one of their big ones they're going to have this year. Hmm. I don't know if I could yay or nay that. Yeah, I don't either. That's a neutral because that's hard to say because that could go either way. Yeah, I feel like it's a safe bet, but at the same time, I don't think they're going to have it there. So I'm going to nay it. So if not this year, then it'll probably be next year. I'm going to have to... Um, I would like it if God of War was dead, personally. Yeah, I, where, See, what that, else can they do I don't with really it? Care. I, don't really, I, I think never I would played just play them. I don't really care. They're main, but they're the, they're the mainstream PS4. Let's get a lot of the bro crowd yeah. in. Well, I've played uh, through all three of them. I and need to play three. I still need to beat three. They're fun. I, I like them a lot. I love two. Two is my. I like two on one. I like one. Yeah, they they're they're very good games. All three of them. Um, it's just it's I don't hack and slash. Yeah, I just don't really know what they're gonna do with the story. And Kratos isn't a particularly interesting character. He just yells a lot. So he kills a lot of stuff. Yeah. 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 Um, I'm gonna have to. I guess I'll name that too. I I and it's we might be we might both be wrong. Of yeah. Course. Uh, it's hard to say, but I will go ahead. I'll go and say nay. Um, and where, because where could the story go? I mean, they keep they got that PSP one coming out. Go kill the North God, Norse gods, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> you know what? I would play that. Shit <laughs> out of that. He goes religion hopping. You know, then he'll go over to the Indian gods and take out those. I would. Guys. That's funny that you said that because my brother talked about how there was an interview with uh, David Joffe, the guy that made the first God of War game. Right. And how he was talking about how he would like to do that with Kratos. Like he has a vendetta <laughs> against gods in general. I would look If they did Norse gods, that might be a PS4 seller immediately. That'd be me, funny. Because that'd be hilariously awesome. Yeah. I'd um, play that. I mean. <laughs> okay. Uh, for my first Sony, I'll go ahead and start off by saying my given for it. It was It's Gonna Be Boring. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they'll have great games. I'm sure the games are going to look great. Uh, all that kind of stuff. But... I've never seen a sh- anybody at Sony come up and be a showman about it. I missed the Peter Moore days from the Xbox conference. Even the, because he, I mean, the, his stupid fake tattoos and everything. Do you think we'll have any tattoos this year? Anybody He's, have any tattoos? <laughs> his stupid fake tattoos are one thing, but he did come out and he did seem legitimately excited to be out on the stage. No one, no one, and then Microsoft doesn't do it as well anymore, but they do it better than Jack Tritton. Mm. Uh, but I said Uncharted 4, which apparently already exists, so I can't use that one. Um, 
I'm gonna nay the Sony being boring. They got Jack Trenton out of there. They're <laughs> gonna, gonna put someone in. They're yes. fixing it this year. They're like, you know what? We gotta fix that. They're gonna they're gonna alleviate no, they're it this not. year. They're, they're gonna throw. They I'm, gonna throw well. I'm gonna throw a nay years ago. I'm gonna throw a nay in there that's, as well. We'll see what like happens. A, no, that's not. No. They're gonna put Shuhei Yoshida up in front of everyone, and he's gonna be like, "Thank you for playing PlayStation." That's all he's gonna say. <laughs> that's not a. Sh- <laughs> that's like a Shuhei Yoshida is the cutest man in the world alright <laughs> it'll be like a like a Miyamoto session where he's up there he's speaking he's got a translator speaking in monotone we're like oh yeah exactly speaking in monotone <laughs> he well, speaks that's, English that's fluently that, right? I was well, just I'm kidding I'm just saying though but, I mean you know that would be funny and cool but that's not gonna make the whole conference nah, better they're gonna do something Sony's gonna be better this year uh so I... oh go ahead sorry so with that being the given and y'all are denying that which is crazy <laughs> uh i'm gonna say i thought about it, try, trying to think of ps3 games um maybe a new resistance because resistance servers went down i don't uh, see it i that's that was kind of just this i'm trying to grasp at straws with so uh, all three of the big three uh i thought maybe that because i know people were kind of upset with the servers going down for resistance and then i have one more game that i'll wait my turn okay I, I'm going to nay that as well. I don't think their relationship is as good enough with Insomniac anymore. That is right. Insomniac did do that. So maybe, mm-hmm. that, maybe I might just nay that myself. Mm. All right. Because I think they did hurt. I guess I'll nay it too. All right. That's three nays on that prediction. Yeah, that's a first. Throw it out of here. <laughs> <laughs> <Done. laughs> okay. All right. For my second prediction. Oh, wait. Have you gone yet, Nastri? Yeah. Okay. I went with the first. Yeah, okay. okay. First. For my second prediction. I will go ahead and predict that The Last Guardian will not be there. It is dead. Don't Stop fucking that. talking about Don't it. Don't say that. <laughs> Don't say that. That breaks my heart. I want my prediction, my number two prediction, is that Last Guardian will be there. It right. will be there. We will see it. It's been five E3s. Five. What about huh? Half-Life, huh? Well, I it's guess... Been, Half-Life's dead, too. I guess... <laughs> I'm going to say it again. Fuck you. <laughs> anyway... No, Last Guardian's gonna I be there. I guess it comes down to me for this one, and I don't even know what the fuck The Last Guardian is, honestly, it's so I don't... Shadow of the Colossus, Ico, those guys, yeah. their next game. Oh. They've had a lot of bad problems yeah, it's probably with dead. making that game. But they keep saying it's probably still alive. There's still a pulse. I'm gonna nay that. There's still a pulse. There's no way. If it was gonna come out, we would have seen it already by now. There's... I just... I the can't... The public wants it. I can't... Someone's gonna make it. I can't keep letting my heart get broken every E3 <laughs> and then I'm just gonna say no it's gone <laughs> speak it to the universe it'll be there well, it'll be there okay so you're saying it is you, your I'm saying it will be, be so I guess, I'm naying him is it by gaying so it's my turn now? yeah yes. sure okay uh, I'm gonna say new little big planet yeah, uh, I can see I, them doing that. I could see that would be a good four-seller. People mm-hmm. are still playing Little Big Planet 2. It's been, what was the last one on, PS3 or PSP, wasn't it? PSP. Yeah, uh, PS Vita had one. Yeah, and I think think they're going to do one for the four. Uh, it was, what, three years ago when two came out, right? No, it's been longer than that. Uh, yeah, it's been a while. while. Then yeah, we were in they're, college. They're up for they're up for a Little Big Planet. I'm going to nay it because <laughs> uh, they already have a game announced. Uh, coming out that's not Little Big Planet. That studio it's, does? Um, yeah. It's idea. called... Uh, shit, I forgot. I'll, I'll look it up. That's a horrible name for that game. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit, They're I forgot. They're not going to game with little They're kids. They're not going to sell that whatsoever. <laughs> no, no one's going to buy so... that. It's called, like, Hungry Hippos or something. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is the studio that does that? I Mo- have big Media idea. Molecule. No idea. Media Molecule, you're right, yeah. Who is Big Idea? New game. Go, go ahead with your prediction. Um, you oh, well, other than Little up. Big Planet. Let's see. What else can I see? Um, a fucking internet. Killzone? I don't know. Killzone's already got a game. Oh, it does? It does? I yeah, actually it came, launched it with came, one. Yeah. Oh, so no. oh, yeah, you're right. It did. No, no, it um, kills on this time. Um, I would love to see. I don't know. It's it's a long, long, long shot. You know, like a 71 to one horse in a you know Kentucky Derby. But Capcom announces a new Mega Man. Or at least a HD remake of all the old Mega Mans. That's Capcom, though, not Sony. I mean, they... they Well, yeah. We're talking not, about Sony. <laughs> they're not completely on Sony anymore, but I, I could see them doing it for Sony, PS4. I mean, if anyone was going to do it, it would be the PS4 that would bring back Mega Man. I would like... I mean, they've thrown Mega Man away. I've seen, you know, how they're they're done with Mega Man. I don't see... I, that's I, would like to see I don't see that just being a Sony exclusive. What? Mega Man. Uh, remaking Mega Man. Mm. If they did the Mega Man X's, but in HD... That would be sweet. That would be sweet. Would be I don't cool. see that as a Sony exclusive, though. Yeah, I I, I would put yeah. an A on that as well. 
Man, I can't find that game. I might be wrong about the studio, too. Um, oh, who knows? We'll find yeah. out. We'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. come out of nowhere with a cool little song, and they'll be like, hey, if guys. they, If I was wrong about that game, then yours gets a yay. If I was right, though, then it's a nay for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they couldn't, they wouldn't be able to split between two games like that. Uh, Probably not. I don't think the studio's big enough. You just skip, so it's your turn. Okay, um, for my next prediction, we have, okay, this is... A far out there one, but I'm going to still say it in the hopes that I'm right. PS4 announces a price cut to combat Microsoft's decision to drop the Kinect. I don't think... Ooh. I don't think you're thinking... I think you might be... I don't think you're thinking too far off shot. But I don't see that happening this soon. Because the demand for the 4 is still so high. I saw before we came over here on Shack News that the PS4 is already a profit. Oh really? Yeah. Wow. PS4 has already made is already a profit. Wow. They're still in high demand. They're still hard to find. Why? Why cut throw them money out? away? Yeah, I That's can true. I can agree with that. Um, Especially when your competitors just now on just, your level. Exactly. Yeah. Why bother? Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't think it's as far fetched as you might have initially thought, but I don't see that happening in the C3. So I'm gonna have to take yeah, that I one. I can give it. I can give it another year at least. Yeah. Before they do a price Probably. drop. Probably. Oh, I had a good point, but I lost it. Okay. It was about Microsoft. Oh, you have to wonder, with Microsoft dropping the Kinect, like, how far behind is the Xbox One? Because we know the shipped number, but we don't know the sold-through to right. consumer number mm-hmm. like we do for Sony. Who knows? I think Microsoft... It's like, it's like the last... Con- like I said, I've said it before to you. I don't know if I ever said it on the podcast. I think maybe the first time, but... This last last year's E3 was so surreal for me because I remember watching the 360 and PS3 announcements, E3s, and how much Sony stumbled out of the gate with the PS3 Mm -hmm. and how Microsoft was just lapping it up that year. And then last year, it was such an opposite. It was so weird. And, or not, I guess not really weird, but it was weird to me because I, I'm remembering the the last time and then, you know, it's such a mirror image. And uh, Microsoft is stumbling out the gate, and I think, and Sony did with the PS3, but look where the PS3 now is with the 360. Yeah, they're they pretty caught much up. the same. I think Microsoft took a good step with the Kinect. Some people just don't want to pay that extra hundred dollars for it. I think they'll catch up eventually. They're going in the right steps. I don't. I don't think. I think they're. If I remember correctly, I could be remembering wrong, but I think Microsoft is actually jumping on their flaws faster than the three did yeah that's probably true uh, i don't remember the ps3 price cut happening for another a year mm-hmm. from 600 fucking dollars 600 dollars yeah 600 dollars eight years ago versus 400 and 500 now yeah it's a big difference and then even and with the 500 100 dollars for the connect which they say there's going to be about 150 i think Probably that much you're gonna sell. It. Oh really? Yeah, that much. Gonna, they're gonna sell it for more than it was if it wasn't bundled. Well, that's what the the regular connect, the original connect did too. Was 150? Yeah. No way. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I'm surprised anyone bought it at 150. Yeah, I, it I, I think it was 150. It was. It was. It was expensive. Wow. I think it was 149. Uh, my Sony one. Um, I think they're gonna push the indies again this year. That was. Yeah. I thought they did a. Re- that was probably my favorite thing at last year's conference was. Them pushing the indie developers. I can't say I'm a huge fan of indie games just because I don't really play a whole lot. Not that I don't. I just kind of with something I don't ever see often because I guess it's just not hyped as much. Uh, but Sony really pushed them last year. Some of them I kind of was like, that game looks dumb. Why are they pushing this one? But there were some that were really good. I think this year, once again, uh, Sony's going to jump on the indie developers and they're going to push them hard yeah I'd like to see that i would really like to see that i agree with that 100 percent, and for good reason too some indie games were the best games that came out last year yeah, they're legit like yeah. uh, guacamole was one of my favorite games from uh last year that came out from Drinkbox. I mean, yeah a lot of a lot of indie games turn out to be just just heavy, good solid games it's just you know? hard it's just finding them yeah. yeah yeah there's not a lot like that, that's just you've well, got, not, you've got no, to go no, through a lot of junk gotta, ones to get well, the really that good ones. and i mean just finding knowing about the good ones oh yeah yeah. I've never heard one person utter guacamole. Until, until, yeah, <laughs> well, I think until he's, we came I, over he's and talked about it before, but I never had heard of it until then. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So that's a yay on that prediction. Is it back to me? It should be your turn. Okay. So I had the price cut. The Last Guardian's dead. 
Uh, this one's pretty safe, but uh, Sony will try to rally the troops for the Vita, and everyone will not care. <laughs> That's a yay. <laughs> yeah. Agreed. They, uh, agreed. Nintendo has a handheld market. Sony should give up. Yeah. Uh, the Vita's... I think the Vita's in more shape than the Wii U, actually, as far as sales go. I would say that as well. So. Just in, in also in terms of potential. The Wii U's, The Nintendo is sitting on a gold mine with the damn Wii U. They're not using it. Yeah. Uh, well, the Vita has potential, too, just with remote play and PS4s. That's true. And with the new... Um, well, that's part of my other prediction, but... Oh, wait. Okay. Destry, what's yours? Um, for Sony... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> All right, we'll skip you then. <laughs> Quiet. So Destry doesn't have a prediction after uh, those other ones Whatever. you said. So we'll go with uh, Wyatt coming up. Um, the only last one I really could think of for Sony uh, was just a release date for the Order 1886. Mm, you I, said you don't care about it. I care about it. I like shooters. I like alternate history. I've talked about it before. I don't think we're going to see a you know, the, firm release date for it. Really? No. I think that game's too uh, f not far enough along in development for that. Because what have we seen about it? We've seen one trailer, game no game gameplay. Yeah. When? Uh, a couple months ago. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. I saw it, and I was watching it, and I was like, that sounds, that looks really good. Oh, shit. Uh, I was watching it, and that looks really good. Uh, it's third person. There was, like, kind of button mash kind of, I can't remember. I remember the guy tackles you, and you got to fight him for, like, I don't remember. Why? Look it up, damn it. It, it exists. <laughs> uh, right, I didn't but I think, I think they're going to have a release date. Maybe not Maybe not fall, winter game release date. Maybe. that, that It's either going to be this fall, winter, or next early spring. All right. So for my last prediction, and this ties in with the, the potential for PS Vita, we have them pushing the PlayStation Now service hard. That's a yay. And the, the Now service sounds awesome. Uh, they're going to slam into that. Yeah, I can definitely hard. see them pushing a lot of yeah. that junk. So with the potential to be streaming games from any device, I think the Vita suddenly it becomes a lot more attractive, not just for the remote play, but you know you can stream. Yeah, if you can, yeah, yeah the, maybe yeah, if you tie, they got to tie their Vita in with the Now, mm -hmm. and then I think the Vita will get a good boost. Yep. Yeah, I can see that. So is that Sony? Yeah, so I think that's Sony. Unless you guys, you do you guys have any like wish, like you know, realistic or not? Because like like mine, my two, are, you know, like let's let's that I have a wish. I have my one wish, and you can probably guess it. But uh, <laughs> I was well. That's our last thing. Let's, yeah, we'll let's get to wishes at the end. Let's go on Nintendo. All right. So for Nintendo, uh, I guess you want to start us out on this. It's one? his turn. Destry, you want to start out? Nintendo. Um, I could. Well, I mean, they're not going to be there. But are they going to they're do, gonna do announcement? Like, they have announcement they, videos. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, they I just think, won't have a conference. Uh, I can see them really, really, really tooting their new uh, Netflix type deal with video games. Where I don't know. If what you are you could, talking about? Yeah, what I, mean, talking I, about? I think I might have just read about this and someone was predicting it, but it sounded so like a great idea. That's that's PlayStation now, Sony. But like, oh, but or it's a Netflix. Nintendo for would do like that too. Oh, you like, want Nintendo. you could go back through their sixty four games, Super Nintendo. Oh, the games. PlayStation Plus, you mean, like where you get a free game every month? No, or but like you could stream it. Oh, for like ten bucks a month, you can go back and stream any video game, play it for however you want. I'm gonna go ahead and nay that. Yeah, I'm there's gonna... no way Nintendo's that forward thinking. <laughs> I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna nay that for yeah. the same reason. How, if they were, on the other hand. I would sign up for that in a heartbeat. Yeah, that'd be awesome if uh, they did that. I just don't think uh, they will. I would, or that's even on their radar. Yeah, they <laughs> yes. should do that, but uh, I don't think they're going to. Uh, for my Halo or Halo <laughs> Nintendo, uh, first thing that came to my mind was the new Metroid. Uh, it's been forever since Prime. Or they haven't Prime had a Three one forever either. I that's that was uh, kind of tied into something else I was gonna say, but. A new Metroid. I'd love to see one on the Wii. I'd love to see a new first-person Metroid, but I'd also love to see a new side scrolling Metroid on 3DS. And maybe more on the 3DS because I have one. <laughs> uh, I would love to see a good Metroid. Period. That's one of my predictions yeah. too. It's it just, just new yeah, Metroid. Not just another solid yeah. Metroid. Because that's one of my favorite franchises, and it's been too long since we've had a, another Prime 3. one. Metroid yeah. Prime Three was the last good one. Yep. Because yeah. we're not going to talk about the Abomination. <laughs> we yeah. we always. Yeah. Every podcast we're it's, in, we talk about it comes how up, shitty yeah. it is. But, 
enjoy it. Uh, we're going to pass on talking about it. Yeah, so I that's can, new Metroid. I could that. definitely see in a Metroid. That's game. a yay. That's a yay from the bottom of my heart that I hope they do it. <laughs> I don't know if they will, but I really hope they do. Okay, so for my first Nintendo prediction, it's a wild one. It's about the new hardware for the emerging markets or whatever the hell they're talking about. It's right. going to be an ultra cheap, ultra cheap, lightweight cell phone kind of device that's going to help people keep count of their calorie intake, their steps walked in a day, and their exercise routines. <laughs> and it's going to have a game-like system where you get points for staying on target. Kind of like how the, the walking Pikachu thing, you remember those? The yeah. yeah. Pikachu, like Pedometers. That? Yeah. Yes. Talking about a pedometer. They're going to announce it, and it's going to be ninety nine ninety nine US dollars. You're talking about a pedometer. A fancy one. A fancy one. I can one. see them doing that. I can I see schedule like, I can keeper because God like Almighty, unfortunately, I can I can see that too. <laughs> yeah, God. Yeah. And then, Instead of looking at video games, you're like, you know what? Let's terrible. do something really weird. That is fucking terrible. Well, but I can see that happening. They've yeah. already stated that they want to do. This is where I came up with this prediction. Okay, they, go ahead. they already stated that they want to do new hardware for emerging yes, markets. Yes, we talked about that last time. They yeah. already stated that they want to do uh, products that will help people with quality of life. Uh, God yep, damn it! I, I can see this happening. Yep. God, that. <laughs> So and that that's Nintendo. where I came up with this so, from. You know what? Let's just forget about video games now. Let's just God, do whatever Nintendo's going to do. And <laughs> the weird thing is, what you just said is essentially what they've said when they talked about the quality of life thing. They're like, we should not limit ourselves to just being a video game what company. What is Nintendo doing? I, I mean, don't know. Watch it. In 10, in 10 years, they're going to somehow be the only superpower left. <laughs> because, <laughs> because they're doing something. They're the only ones that are foreseeing like the coming apocalypse or something. But, you know, God, I just, that's so <laughs> disappointing. So I know terrible it's, it's that I can that, there's wasting... that can actually see that fucking happening. <laughs> yeah. God, that kills me. Uh, so Jesus. I think that's gonna be at E three. You know, if hey, they do you that... your damn prediction. <laughs> you know I have a feeling that if, if they do that, sorcerer, we should all save up and just chip into that. Just no, do it. <laughs> do it. Yeah. yeah, I would just, not. Just do it. Just I do would it. not support Let's that. Let's see what happens. No, <laughs> Nintendo. No, who even uh, knows. Like, God, maybe if you no. walk so many steps, you earn a Pokemon or that'd something. That'd be so <laughs> real life Poke- Dude, that'd be great. Oh you get real-life Pokemon battles. You see yeah. someone else with one. You battle them. and it's, then you. It's basically Whoa. like achievements that you get for doing exercises. Shut up. No. <laughs> I'm moving on. You're killing me. Like, I'm feeling physical pain talking about this. I could see uh, them. When, was the, when, when did uh, that last... Super Space Mario one came out. Oh, uh, Super Mario Galaxy, the two? second one. Yeah, when did that come out? That was a while ago. That was that was my given was a new Mario a new, game. Like a, not like you know the the cool those the side scroller ones are really cool. They went back to the old school style. Yeah, but but I can really see them bringing out another open world 3D Mario. That was my possibly given. not even Galaxy again. Something completely different because I, I could should do that, something definitely. different Galaxy. But that was my given was a new Mario game. Uh, not necessarily a 3D one, but just a new something, Mario game. Mario. Well, if you look at their track record for this new generation, they've put out a Mario game every year now. Yeah. So... Mm-hmm. That's why. That's why I said it was sometimes, my. That was my. Say it was my given. Yeah. Sometimes multiple Mario games in a single year, single year. with the uh, new you Mario Brothers and the 3D World Mario I bet, Brothers. I'm gonna go. I'll make a specific prediction on that and say Mario Party. Mario Party. Yeah. It's or Mario Wear. That'd be fun to see a Mario Wear. That would uh, be cool. That'd be cool. But I'm gonna. I'll say for my next turn. I guess uh, Mario Party. Uh, yeah. It's been a while. Uh, that'd be a good thing for the Wii U. Especially if you can hook up five people to it. Yeah, I can. Yeah, I could. Yeah, that'd, uh, be, that'd cool. be uh really fun with five people instead of four. I just really hope they don't keep doing only party games. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, they're they're fun every once in a while, but please, not, not every Nintendo's single Nintendo's not game. doing that. That's their <laughs> shitty. Third they're party. pouring their console out. I heard people. a good term for that. Uh, it, call it shovelware. That is that's what that is. Idea, <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's it. I heard that on some podcasts I was listening to, and I was like, oh, that's a perfect name for that. (laughs) Okay, so that was mine, your turn. Okay, so I'm going to kind of combine two here because I've heard uh, some rumblings in the rumor mill. So we've got the NFC figurines already announced. Have you heard anything about that? Okay, you you know what Skylanders is. Yes. Okay, Nintendo's doing Skylanders. 
Oh my god! Wait, with Nintendo characters? With Nintendo it's characters? So that and like Disney, Inf- Disney Infinity is doing it too. Yeah, just do it because they have Star Wars. They have, they have but Marvel. Man, Nintendo. Yeah. I want to jump. I almost feel like I want to jump on that. But when Nintendo characters doing that shit, that just, sounds it, pretty. Bitchin'. Just depends on yep. the gameplay for me. Yeah, if, if that's it's, what it's going to be. Cool if, gameplay. Depends on if it's totally for kids, <laughs> yeah. like Skylanders is. What I want to see is them take you get a Mario figure or a Link figurine because I like Link better than Mario. You get a Link figurine. <laughs> you bring them into your Zelda game and. You you level up this character okay when he's done and you beat that game you can move him over into mario kart sit him down and then you have that character in that new game yeah. that sounds awesome like but i'm gonna back. have to say no to that part of it just yeah. because nintendo's not that forward thinking <laughs> that's <laughs> we true gotta keep remembering <laughs> that that wasn't the prediction though okay so we okay. have the nfc figures are going to be out in full force right um we're going to have wii u bundles announced we're going to have it integrated into Super Smash Brothers Wii U. That would be ballin'. I'm gonna have to say nay on that. Uh, not the Wii U. I just I haven't heard anything about this. Um, that's the rumor. That's just mill. rumors. That's I know. Rumor I'm gonna have yeah. to say nay on that. Would it be cool if it is true? I would think it would not be cool at all if I have to buy fucking toys to unlock characters in Super Smash. Bros. But yeah, I don't think that, I don't think that I don't think. But what what if it was just upgrades like added to different costumes? Or, I don't. Yeah. I don't think that that's an issue. Not with Nintendo. You not don't think Smash, so? Not with Smash Bros. Now. No. I don't know, man. I, I couldn't see. Uh, them doing I don't it. see Nintendo. I could see kidding. Microsoft doing that and Sony doing that. <laughs> Nintendo. Maybe it's my my old love for it uh, coming back. Still, a little we still bit. have that greater trust in them. But <laughs> I don't see Nintendo horn. They're like your crazy saying that with their stupid console. They're, they're like your crazy grandpa, you know, uh, he does whatever he wants, but I you just, still have that little bit of I don't think <laughs> I don't know. I don't see that happening. I'm gonna nay that and hope to God I'm fucking right. I hope that's wrong too, but I think that's where we're going. I can see it I can see it adding to it. I can't see it becoming a full on you have to get it just to enjoy the game. But I I can see it being, you know, you get to unlock a Metroid skin for Link. I could that see. Would be cool. I'm. I'm saying. <laughs> I'm going to go on record right now. I'm saying you're going to have to buy figurines to unlock certain extra characters. God, I hope not. I hope not either. Because if that's true, fuck Nintendo. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, gonna, guys. <laughs> no, but no. Can, yeah, that's that's. I'm going to hold it, on to my trust. In Nintendo. I've talked about it before. How I how Nintendo's kind of hurt me the last few years. But I'm going to hold out on this. I'm gonna dig in, dig into the ground, bunker down, and say Nintendo's not that fucking stupid and greedy. Who knows? <laughs> they're crazy. <laughs> they are crazy. Exactly. <laughs> no I, one I, knows what they're doing anymore. I, I see my prediction about the health Game, Game Boy yeah, coming out before that happens. Definitely. I know, and that's even worse. <laughs> um, okay. Your turn, Destry. I would like to see... On that sad note, (laughs) Nintendo's been the worst one. (laughs) Nintendo's been the wild card just because you have no idea what Nintendo's going to do. Yep. I have the most most predictions for Nintendo because it was easy because they have so much history and then it's been like the saddest one talking about. I'd like to see... I mean, I don't know if this is just a wish or just kind of feeling it, but it's been a while and they need... I feel like the public still wants it, but a Kid Icarus game. A legit Kid Icarus on a console. I don't know how much the public still got, wants that. He's got he's got a handheld game, but yeah, the 3DS one was really good too. I'd I, like to see I'd like to see Pit get a nice until Smash Brothers game. Brawl. I had no idea who Pit was. Yeah, me either. So, so Pit, I don't know how much it, your though. public is looking for that. Uh, I think the 3DS game helped out with that a little bit though, just yeah. because that game got such high scores and everything. I mean, I could see another Kid Icarus game coming up. I uh, I don't know. So that's a that's a that's a wishy washy one, but yeah, um, I could see it happening. I don't know. I think new Zelda before that happens. I'm glad you said that because that was what I was going to say next. New Zelda. That was announced. my. Ne- I think because they've been working on that one for a while. They keep kind of teasing it every year. I think this year might be the time. We use out. Uh, Wind Waker was kind of last year. Mm, this year, so this is the year to tout a new Zelda. Now, uh, now do you think they're going to let? Tecmo, Koei kind of filled the gap with Hyrule Warriors. No. If they do, that hurts me, Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I, I think see- Skyward Sword was what? Three years ago now? 2011? Yeah, I think so. Mm-hmm. It's time to see that new Zelda that they've been working, that super HD, that super HD looking one. one. It's yeah. time to show that. I think I think this is the year. Yeah. 
I think that it's because last year, Wii, last year we had about Waggle. You don't have to worry about last Waggle. year we had HD remake as Wind Waker, which you know we just played it. It looks cool. It looks good. They a lot of cool things added to it. Mm-hmm. And then last year we also had Link Between Worlds. What's the Zelda this year besides High Rural High Rural Warriors? Nothing. This is a year to come out and say, here's what we've been working on, Zelda fans. This is our labor of love. Let's end it on this one, like we talked about before. But uh, I think this is the year we're going to get to see that new Zelda. I hope to God that's true. Uh, I don't know, though. I, I'll yay it just because I hope it's. I hope so. Yeah. I want a new Zelda. I can see it happening. Hyrule Warriors actually doesn't look too bad, though. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying that it is. I'm just saying it, it ain't gonna, not to fill no fucking gap with the next Zelda. <laughs> well, but that's, but that's just it, though. What were we all talking about last time, how we hated how Zelda's always the same? And now you don't want it to be different. Tower Warriors is not the Zelda. Yeah, game. it's not Zelda. That's really. Dynasty it's Warriors. It's Dynasty Warriors with the Zelda, Zelda characters. characters. Yeah, but that's just it though. And it's a, it's Zelda, but it's that's not Zelda though. That's Hyrule. That's Dynasty Warriors with Zelda characters. That's not. We also talked about that when we talked about. Uh, so it's not a story. So no, it's not at all. Well, I don't know. I don't I know. I highly if, doubt it. I highly doubt it too. But I, I mean, we just don't know enough about it yet. I know Zelda is in it, getting kidnapped, and that sounds like okay. a Zelda game to me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. but <laughs> if you're playing a hack and slash Zelda, that's not that's not a Zelda. But to me. you just complained last time about how we hated how every Zelda was the same. I know. Then why can't it be different? Because <laughs> it's contradictions and because reasons. It looks cool though. It's, that's I like to that's try it. that's way too different for for me. Is I guess their talk- first person shooter Zelda would be way too different. That would be super way too exactly. different. <laughs> but I would play it. <laughs> they're talking about how actually they had that. It was Link's crossbow training. That's yeah, true. that was fun. I don't know if you guys ever played that. I liked it. It was fun. They're talking about how they're gonna have uh, different characters in it too, and the combat in it is the Z target combat from ocarina and all the 3d zelda so you're able to like dodge attacks and do all that which so, is it'll probably just be a lot quicker paced yeah it's that's a big improvement over dynasty warriors because all you can do in that game is block so okay we'll say i'd say higher wars I, I, they're gonna probably tout that but i want to see that new zelda I, I, yeah i think they're gonna show they're gonna show another hd shot of it no i don't I wanna, know if they'll actually they, they need it's They've been showing shots for the last three years. It's time. I think... They have shown shots before Skyward Sword was out. Yeah. I think they announce it, but it's not this year. No way it's this year. No way. No, I'm not saying it comes out this year. I'm just saying they announce it. They start uh, showing yeah. it. So they give a teaser trailer, a full-on teaser trailer. Give it a 2015. Uh, that, that, was my, that was my next one. Okay. I think... I had uh, Super Smash Bros. out in force, of course. And well, they're, they're doing a tournament. So that's right. that, yay. Okay, so yeah. And I, for, just to throw that in there, this was my last one. Is Smash Bros. going to get a release date? Hopefully. I think, because I mean, uh, it's coming out this year, be. so this is E3 is the mean, time yeah, to say when it's coming out. They've got the game out. set, so if it's, the game's ready enough to have a tournament, it's ready enough to have a release date. They're, they're going to, like, you know, I'm just looking at your thing, and it's talking about how, uh, I gotta stand up, talking about how uh, new characters and such. But um, I think, yeah, two new playable characters are going to be announced. Actually, they announced one. 20 minutes ago. Did they really? Uh, Ike from Fire Emblem. I knew Fire oh, Emblem. Nice. Wait, okay. Ike? Ike's not new. He's not new, well, but... Well, new to the this oh, roster. Yeah. Oh, this roster. Okay. How many characters is it up to now? I haven't been 50, keeping up. I don't know. I don't know. 50. Awesome. I don't know. <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> we talked about <laughs> Smash Bros. last like time, how y'all love it more than me. Marvel versus Capcom style of like an insane amount of fighters. Mm-hmm. Okay. Do you... You got one more, Destra, for Nintendo? Uh, or? Not Nintendo. Just... Who knows what they're going to do. <laughs> okay. All right. So th- I guess that covers our uh, main predictions for the top three big dogs. So random predictions. Okay. Third random parties. predictions. Okay. My first one, I thought about making this as my big wish. We talked about how we're going to talk about our big wish. Uh, but I think this year from Bethesda Fallout 4. Yeah. There have been more rumors circulating around. It's been a while since uh, 3. I'm, I love New Vegas. But it wasn't Bethesda that made it. Uh, I think this year's Fallout 4, there's been some more rumors kind of flirting out and around. Uh, and not to mention that what's, you know, they're out of their two big things, Elder Scrolls and uh, Fallout. Online just released for that. So now it's got to, now you got to start building up hype for something else. I think this year's the year for Fallout 4. Okay. I could see that. Yeah. I can say yay to that as well. 
Or at least something Fallout. Something in the Fallout world will happen this year. I think I think it'll be Fallout 4. Yeah. People, I would... Ever since Skyrim came out, I like actually... When I... The first Fallout game I played was 3. Mm-hmm. Um, Me too. And I immediately fell in love with it more than I liked Elder Scrolls. I like sci-fi better than fantasy anyways. That gives so. me too. So I would, and when Skyrim came out and how beautiful it looked, like from going from Oblivion to Skyrim, yeah, my first thought was Fallout. go from Fallout 3 to Fallout. Skyrim, and then now we're in next-gen consoles. What's that going to look like? Yeah. Uh, it's going to be So crazy. I'm Fallout 4 is a big thing for me this year. I hope I'm right. I hope you're right too. <laughs> I have to say um, we're going to see the new game from From Software. The Project Beast, uh, whatever that code name is. I have no idea what you're talking about, so we'll yeah, probably I see heard it. Of it either. But the guys who made Dark Souls have another game coming. Yes, it's Project Beast. There's been small leaks mm. about it, but I think <clears> we're going to see it at E3, and I think it's going to be in the same vein as Dark Souls. But apparently, there's guns in this one, so like flintlock, oh. like Victorian age guns. Interesting. I, yeah, it looks awesome from what I've seen, that which is cool. l- almost nothing. Like but it. did you know that the the uh, director of Dark Souls 1 is now the president of FromSoft. Really? Yes. So the guy, that's that's pretty cool. Yes, that's good that's news. Great, that's great, because he, he yeah. knows where it needs to go. Yep. Like, he has the actual vision, and not just, hey, we got to make money. <laughs> yeah, we got to make more Dark Souls. <laughs> yeah, that's good. I'm, I'm liking that. I mean, with the way Dark Souls works, they could even easily just take Dark Souls 2's uh, just engine, Reskin it, makes new, make new level. You know, you need new puzzles because that's what makes it interesting is figuring stuff out. But you don't need a new engine. The engine works great, you know? Yeah. That's going to be crazy, though. If they, well, I wonder if they'll have magic. Like, if it's like, say it's Victorian era, are they going to have magic or are they not going to have magic? I'm going to say. What will take place at that? Will the guns be new magic systems? It could be like science, alchemy or something yeah, instead gonna, of magic. Yeah. I want to say yeah on that one because Dark Souls 2 came out. They gotta get that's it's that this is a train rolling. You keep mm-hmm. the train rolling, rolling on your company. What's their next thing? E three is E three is my Christmas really. I love E three. Yeah. This is the time everybody announces everything. And Dark Souls two just came out a couple months ago. What now, if it was just a DLC for time? It? What do you th- what do you think if this project might be just a add on? That way they don't have to have an entirely new game because Dark Souls came out just came out. Yeah. I don't know if they'd want. If they're still kind of a small student, they're not, they're not huge like EA or something where they can do it every single year. So maybe every two years they want big games. What if it's just a DLC? Well, I'm not saying it's coming out this year. I'm just saying. They oh, announced. they just announced. Yeah, it they're just announcing it. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. And that too, they there were there was a three year gap between Dark Souls one and two. Right. Yeah. So they're, they're not going to annualize anything. anything. Which is good. Yep. I'm, that's one thing I'm looking forward to the new Call of Duty just because it's been in development for three years. It actually, actually might, had time to work it on it. It might be something <laughs> worth playing. And yeah. Francis yeah. is in it. Exactly. That's that. Honestly, that's why I want to play it. Yep, yeah, me too. <laughs> I just want to play the campaign. I don't I even give a yeah. shit about multiplayer. <laughs> no, yeah. I'm sure the multiplayer will be Call of Duty, but I do want to play that campaign. Yep. Yeah. Definitely. So, from you. Destry. What's your wish? Or not? Um, not a wish, because I got. Oh, I have several. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Third parties, because I. Because I mean, you got. We just talked about Bethesda. What's it? Some company I don't even know. Then talk about Ubisoft. From Soft. Yeah. I, I got, could see. Well, no, because they have BlizzCon. I was about to say I could see Blizzard pushing console stuff, but they have BlizzCon. So they, they have need, BlizzCon. They don't need they to be three. Yeah. So never mind that. Um. Maybe Diablo uh, three for consoles will be there, but. There's, I'm there's, sure it'll be there, but whether or not it's nothing going to be big. I mean, everyone's itching for another Mass Effect. That was one of my predictions. Was that. it's just something new from Bioware? Yeah. And I wrote it down. <laughs> this isn't my wish, but well, Dragon Age Inquisition is is from Bioware. But I'm talking about something new because they have several studios that work on stuff. Uh, my thought from Bioware is either a new Mass Effect, which I think that's what's going to come. If out of anything I say next, I think Mass Effect's It'll more likely. Mass Effect, yeah. Uh, the I next just wonder one, what they would do with Mass Effect. I don't know. Like if they'll go after, if they'll even acknowledge their horrible ending for Mass Effect Three, <laughs> or uh, hopefully not. Uh, I don't know. I would love. I love the Mass Effect universe. I would actually like to see something in it. I don't know what they would do with it. So just something yeah. new from Mass Effect. Something for probably some more stuff from the Old Republic. I don't even know what's going on in that game right now, but my guess is they'll probably talk about something. Yeah, yeah. And then what I would really love for them to announce, of course, is a KOTOR 3. 
Mm. I, that's a very un- never that's, that's unlikely. <laughs> Fuck I would you. love that too. Stop your goddamn that's dream crushing. <laughs> Fuck yeah. you. Yeah. But I would love Talking to see Code Three. <laughs> <laughs> I'll team up against crushing you. dreams all <laughs> over the place. Um, that's why they call free? me Dream Crusher Linderman. Any more free? <laughs> Who calls you that exactly? Myself. <laughs> um, I'm going to nay that because I don't think they're going to want to split the audience between Inquisition and uh, New Mass Effect. I see. Yeah, I don't think that's mm-hmm. going to be a problem. I, I that, think. Because yeah. think... Dragon Age comes out this year, does it not? Yeah, I think in October. I'm not saying that it comes out. I'm saying they're announcing, I'm announcing it. Announcing it. I, when I said, when yeah. I was talking about something coming out, it's yeah, gonna, it's, it was announced last year already. I think we're going to see the Mass Effect HD remakes announced. I could see that announced. Yeah. yeah. And that might even Hopefully be... Mass Effect 1 gets fixed, because that was... Not... And that might even be... I think they going to fix it like 2 and 3. No, That'd be a lot of work. Now, would it be cool if they did? Yes. Yeah. It'd be awesome. It'd be they, they're not going again. to. But... Um, 1 was so bad. I liked 1. Mainly <laughs> the just, story was great. Just yeah, the story. Yeah. But, uh, the story. Gameplay but the wise, was gameplay stuff. wise was... It was getting ha- having being forced to get into that fucking rover for that one mission was like the worst part in the, that awesome. game. Shut up. Anyway, <laughs> I see. I don't know. I don't really want an HD remake of the three. I'd rather see something new from the universe. Cause I love I would the Mass Effect universe. Yeah. I would love it if they directly addressed the end of three. How every known civilization in space is stranded out up. in Earth. Post-apocalyptic now because everybody's fighting for resources. There's and no relays. There's no resources in yeah. the in the solar system anymore. That's why we left. Oh yeah. yeah. There's very little resources in our solar system. Yeah. So now we have the Last of Us in Mass Effect. It's not the except there's no it's zombies. It's not the entire galactic. It's, it's, it's all the big fleet. The only ones that can survive are like the Quarians if you let them live. <laughs> yes. Yeah, <Hey>. Someone. <laughs> I fixed someone that. Killed all of them. <laughs> I fixed that, that in my second playthrough. They're through. really the only race that could live through all that because they just the Geth unless, could live unless everyone else jumps them to get the Geth would be the ones who to win because yeah. they're the Geth. They don't need anything. <laughs> well, but then again, the whole the whole thing of Mass Effect Three is if you get the oh yeah they, the good they're ending. dead in my Everyone's, game. Oh, they were dead in my but game. But everyone, too. everyone's <laughs> now. I saved them. I killed them. The yeah. thing with Mass Effect Three, though, at the ending was everyone's now partly biotic. Not biotic. That depends on what. That depends on what. That depends on what color light you chose yeah, to, just be, get, to flash like, through the galaxy. I chose red. I was like, I chose Fuck red. These synthetics. They're too. dead. <laughs> Even though I love the Geth, I chose red because I didn't want the Reapers to win. See, yep. that, that's why I Because I've been fighting the Reapers for over 100, 200 fucking hours. I could see it being the... God, starting, I hate you. Starting the Torian Wars against... Uh, That'd be cool. That would be That'd very... That'd be really the cool. First contact the first war. The contact. problem with the first contact war, though, is it's short. It was very short. It didn't last very long. They could still make a cool game. They could make that. a game out of it, yeah. But it, it didn't last too long. Yeah, yeah. And plus they ended peace and not... A conquered race, you know, they end up being like, you know what, we should stop fighting. Not like, haha, you guys are our slaves. Like I said, I would that love could to make see for some... an interesting story. It could too, make though. for an interesting. Story. I would love to see just some new from Mass Effect. Um, anything I have, I said uh, a new Splinter Cell, but I'm actually just gonna branch that back. I'm gonna say just a new Tom Clancy game. That's kind of a given for every E3. Yeah, I, I said Splinter Cell just because it's been for it's been a while since the last one. New Assassin's Creed. Well, that's uh, that's a, Unity. Well, Unity. They're gonna tout that though. Yeah. They're gonna show. Some Although stuff. that I've heard that that one you can finally have four people playing at once. I haven't heard anything what? about that. Yeah, four people can finally play yeah, like, together. That would I'm actually sure be kind of cool. Be, which that would be fun. That, that would, would be, be fun, fun. actually. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I would. I would. I would get back in Assassin's Creed for that. Be like, they suckered me in with Black Flag because I was like, oh, I don't have anything for my PS4, and the sailing's really fun. So I'll try. Is Black Flag any fun at all? The sailing parts. If you put Wind Waker with, music to it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the sailing parts are great, and the ship to ship combat's awesome, but it's still the same. It's still the same. Yeah, it's, it's hard to. I like. I remember when Assassin's Creed was coming out, and I was just like, "Why is everybody getting so up in arms about this?" Well, then I really then cool. I played it, and I was like, "Okay, so you're actually going into the memories of your character, and I like the story for that." And then the second one came out, and the second one was so much better than the first one. The first one was very hard to get through just because it was so boring. The second one, they changed stuff up. They added all this stuff, and it was really cool. Yep. Brotherhood did not change up that much, except for adding the assassins, which was I love having me able to pull your hand up, make a yeah. fist, and everybody around you falls over dead. But mm. then, but the, then, but then they, they that was the story. Brotherhood the started the downfall. Yeah. Because after that, it was Revelations, which I like seeing Ezio's story finally put to bed. Mm-hmm. But it's let's do a game every single. But year, every constantly, single year, constantly, constantly, yeah, I hate that. Really but well, there's story. been interesting. Uh, 
it's interesting you should mention that because they've announced that Assassin's Creed total lifetime sales for that console is 71 million units. Damn. Yeah. For every Assassin's Creed, across everything. Yes. So we have no one to blame but ourselves that there's an Assassin's well, Creed every year. I that's bought, true. I yeah. bought, I don't think I ever bought one at launch, come to think of it. I bought two. Two is still one of my favorite games two of is, all time. Two is really good. Um, I said something new from Rockstar. What I was doing? thinking about I, that. I mean, I, just, I could see them doing something. DLC. Do you need DLC for five? I couldn't see them doing or... a full new game. They haven't had enough time to build. Because how big, uh, you know, because you see their games, how much don't time forget, it takes don't to forget make those. those. Everybody has different parts of their company. Different teams working on different things at all times. So just be, and Rockstar's a huge company. Well, Rockstar's Look one at that 2K. puts their people. Two K has they like thirteen hundred different divisions that work on different stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I, I can I still see it just a little too soon from GTA Five to have a brand new game. I can see them doing DLC. I I can see DLC probably definitely the most prominent thing, but I could see them saying talking about something new. Maybe Grand Theft Auto Five on next gen. I could see that. I could easily that I could see that. And Not then, necessarily a new title, though. I think Destry's right. Maybe a little too soon for that. How big know. their games are. The how many hours. Like, they over, was, they're, they're, they're notorious for overworking their people and, beyond their hours. And how many years was it between GTA 4 and... I'm not saying a new GTA. Oh. No, no like, I'm just saying like a new like, game, uh, not a new GTA. Oh, yeah. the Red Dead. Yeah. You're thinking, yeah, oh my like God, a, I would die yeah, if Yeah, that's what I'm Red talking about. Not a new GTA. <laughs> GTA just came out in October. Yeah. No, I'm just talking about just something new from Rockstar. A new game, a new IP would be great. Well, maybe another... They might have another L.A. Noir. I don't uh, know how well that sold. I, L.A. Noir was fun once. Yeah, once. Yeah. A new Red Dead, man. God, that I could that would people would love would shit over that. Yeah, uh, and then uh, you think it'd be as good without Marston? I don't know because that's what really made it for me was Marston. And then the last thing I said was, um, six. EA's already said they're announcing six games. Uh, not include. I don't know if that's including or not including Battlefront Three because they they're, they're going to talk about that, which I cannot wait for. Uh, I hope they have more than just a foot stomping in the snow. This yeah, time. <laughs> hopefully. Well, that was just an announcement. Anyway, yeah. Yeah, I don't know if that's part of it, but uh, probably if they if it's not part of it for sure, if it is part of it, maybe just one. But out of those six games, I'm betting two of them might be Star Wars. Oh yeah, because they yeah. they got Lucas Arts now, and this will be the this will be a great year to tout that shit with those movies coming too. That, can, that's next they're, year, they're, but but they're starting the roll. They're right, getting the, ball getting the announcements going. And I would maybe like this is like this is like a really exciting time because Star Wars is gonna finally be really good. Yeah, I mean, you know, the return to practical I, effects. I don't want to step on you guys for how much you love Star Wars and stuff, but what they've been doing to it is just you Awful. know kicking it into the dirt. Like it's got potential to be great, and they've been doing bad stuff with it. But this is exciting because now George Lucas is no longer being the crazy man in charge, and they can make good stuff. <laughs> I agree with that. They can live up to its full potential, which is really exciting. George was ruining the franchise. Yeah. I'm glad he's gone. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He did us. He did us all great service for starting it. <laughs> yeah. He should Here's have stepped away after Here's the original the three Here's and just let it go. We'll we'll, get, we'll pay you royalties, but just don't um, be involved, <laughs> please. <laughs> That was my predictions. I uh, think we'll see uh, of the Star Wars games. I think you're right about Battlefronts, and I think we'll see. Vis- well, they they said they are. God, they're talking about Battlefront, and I think we'll see Visceral Games Star Wars game that they're working on. I thought they wasn't that thirteen thirteen. Uh, no, thirteen thirteen's can. I know, I know. But I thought that was. You think about bringing back? That would be cool because I've seen just Following. like a little bit of thirteen thirteen, and what little bit they were talking about looked really bitching. I don't think it's going to come back though. I don't either. Yeah, but, uh, but Visceral's. I could see Visceral's game. The um the we were talking earlier about Uncharted. The head writer from the Uncharted series is now over at Visceral working on this Star Wars game. That's so that good. could be very good. That's mm-hmm. good. I that yeah, but we'll, we'll probably see that. Like I said, this is this is be the first E three two after Lucas Arts craziness last year. <laughs> I, I don't. I just don't understand what Visceral is gonna do with the Star Wars franchise because they're the guys best known for Dead Space. Like, what is that well, Star ever, Wars game going to look like? Have you yeah. seen, uh, you ever seen the book Dead Troopers? That's uh, Dead Space. Oh, is it? I've never read it, but it's zombie stormtroopers. Oh, really? Would that not be <laughs> sweet, a survival horror game set in the Star Wars universe? That'd be awesome. I mean, just With have an alternate gritty. kind of universe? Just, That'd be just, so just fucking anything sweet. Anything Star Wars gritty is going to be good. Because right. it's no longer to be 
yuck, yuck, yuck. Silly, <laughs> you know, like we've been watching the through the Clone Wars on the the, the kids show. The times when they actually got real, it was like, wow, this is that good. was the best ones. But yeah, then when def- they when they definitely. started being kitty, you know, that's just that's what Star Wars was. So anything gritty, Star Wars is gonna be good. Mm-hmm. I'm stoked about Battlefront because yes, I love I I love Battlefield's system and nothing else. I don't want to, I don't want my Battlefront to become Battlefield, but I'm glad Dice has it. Listen, if nothing else, the atmosphere Dice can create right that that's what it sticks you into the game. You hear these guys shouting to each other. Well, Battle, imagine that with the clones being Battlefront like, was really big, like uh like the level like especially like Cloud City levels had so many levels. Yeah. And I, so I, really wanted to, of this, I really wanted to stay a third person shooter. Uh, I don't care yeah. if it's first person. I wouldn't care either. But I, re- I mean, it's a true. It's the third person. I would really like to see it. I don't stay. think that's a necessary enough thing. I, I mean, that'd be cool if you could switch but between. But I'm look, I'm glad Dice has it because Dice is going to do it justice. Yeah. Destructible environments in Ex- Star Wars. Yeah, Destructible exactly. Environments Star Wars and just the atmosphere they can create. And can you imagine like a photorealistic at at walking around like stomping on shit be, and blowing things up? We just got to wait a week, gentlemen, because they they already said they're going to start. Ta- they're going to talk about it at E3. Uh, Battle of Hoth. That yeah. was that's my that's I can't that was all I could think of. Um, I don't know. Except you always lose in Battle Hawk. I hate that about Battle Hawk levels in video games. No matter even if you lose, that's because you, it, the movie you always you lost, they lose. lost in the movie. That's why I hate it. I was thinking about that. Uh, it's you, like it's like playing German as Germans on D Day. You think you're gonna <laughs> win? You think you're gonna somehow turn the time? That's what it, um, you guys were talking about the Clone Wars TV show earlier. I hate how. Like, it's cool to see cameos from characters from the original movies and everything, but when you do see them in the show, you know nothing's going to happen to them. They might as well just yeah. be invincible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And there's so many problems. So many problems. That's why I want to say alternate universe solved. Star Wars. Hey, we have the Force. We talked what? about that. Yeah. So many problems this to be is, solved. This is our E3 oh, yeah. special. We're this not E3 special. Let's get away from Star Wars, but... So, I think that was my exciting. predictions. Do you have any more? I have... One and it's not going to come true, but I'm going to say it anyway. Is this your wish, though? If this is my deepest, most darkest wish. Okay. For E3. So gonna, oh, no, hold on, well, do you have any more positions that is not your wish? Oh, uh, that's what I'm talking about. We'll some do our, stupid. I don't know. Some. Well, of course they're going to do some uh, sports games. About three. Who of them. cares? We're not talking about. But I think. Well, I think hashes. it'll be. I think it'll be fun to see them do another like NFL Blitz or NBA Jam. There will never. Oh, that'd be, be awesome. <laughs> There's never going to be another NFL blitz. That would be ridiculous. That would be sweet. I don't think it's going to happen, but that would be... We got our Madden 15 or 16 or whatever yeah, the hell it's on. Yeah, uh, I think it's over 20 now. We'll, we'll have a um, a sports athlete who has never played a video game in his life <laughs> up there to introduce sports stuff. Uh, yeah. Who cares about that? Do you have any real predictions See, that's I, meaningful? I would, a prediction I would like them to do is to say, you know what, we're no longer selling hard copies of our every single year sports games. We're only doing digital. That way we can save that the actually, environment. Because that actually might not be, that actually might shake up some people will be pissed. I, if some of if, like, it would. Man came out and said, we're not doing physical copies anymore. Hope you got hard drive but space. That'd be, that'd be great. They ain't going to do that. No. But God. That was part because of the. Those con- games are worth something for one year, they're dated as soon as they come out. Well, because they have a year on it. Like a lot of people don't buy it year to year, though. A lot of people don't buy it year to year, though. They'll buy sports kids do. Well, they'll they'll buy it and then wait two or three years and then be like, okay, I guess now's the kind of like a new iPhone. It's the same thing. Man, I don't know. I've talked to some sports like sports junkies who are like, oh man, this next one coming out. Even though they had the one from last year, they're like, I've got to get this new one. Looks exactly the same, just different names. I know people people just like that too. So Mm. I mean, that's. That's not even related to E3, but I wish they would just go to straight up complete digital. There's no way. That's saving the environment. We're not hippies around here. Shut up. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> All right, so. Wishes. We covered. Uh, yeah, I guess so. I, um, I can see. Uh, I'm going to shoot down a rumor, but Valve with the Steam Box. In the Half-Life, not. I mean, I have a feeling they're not going to do the Steam Box this year simply because they're going to wait another year to where the competition is. A, Wait, Steam Box is already out. Not yet. Is Are it, they not? It's not it, out yet, but they've announced it's, it. There's an, it's announced uh-huh. rumors. They don't have a date yet for it. But I have a feeling it's not going to be this year. Or maybe they'll announce it and it'll be selling next year. But with PS4 being how big they are, I don't think they're going to jump out. Well, even by the, by the end of this year, they might. Yeah. But I have a feeling, though, when they do announce the Steam Box Half-Life 3, that will be their big seller to get people to buy the Steam Box. And that's my wish. I, I you know, it was... 
If you've listened to it before, you could probably guess, but that is my big wish for E3. It's so, my big wish for every E3 for a long time. When they finally announce Half-Life Half Life 3, I, that's my super big wish. Fuck you, is, Dream is, Crusher. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> Fuck you. Is Valve is Val the same team? Like, I know the guys that made Left 4 Dead use the Steam system. That's Valve. That is Valve? Yeah. So they are the ones working on Evolve. Yes. Evolve will be there. Evolve, Evolve will, will be there. Be probably there. in 4. See, that, that's mm-hmm. another reason why I don't think that we're not going to see much else from Valve uh, this year. Because but Half-Life 3 they've got that is my, my wish. As Evolve, is. Alien Isolation will be out there in Force. I'm really looking forward to that game. I think it'll be good. So what's your wish? My deepest, darkest wish. I'm going to stomp all over it. For E3. <laughs> it's a game that's already out. It's in Japan only, though. It ain't never going to come here. Is that they're going to bring fantasy star online 2 to the west no and it's gonna be on something i can play it on nope it's it's gonna you know what's gonna be on is it gonna be pc on the, no if nintendo, nintendo's emerging market console, <laughs> that's exactly what's gonna be if, on if nintendo were smart and not batshit crazy like they are right now they would use that as a way to promote their new online system that's if I was a Nintendo manager, yeah, I'd be they're like, an emerging I'd be like, market Whoa, system. We've got a, we need to build up our online system. Let's use Fantasy Freaking Star to say, hey, we can actually play with other people online now. No, that's not gonna happen. That's why I have a feeling it's not gonna happen because it's Nintendo. Happen. Nintendo's crazy. They don't do anything. No. <laughs> so what's your E three wish that My we can stop on it? Too? Wish, wish, wish. Um, I just love Fantasy Star so much. I miss that game so much. Got a game online. Game. I would have to say my biggest wish to see is Last Guardian. We already stomped on that. So I know. We have already stomped on it, but I would love to see Last Guardian actually happen. If not Last Guardian, then... You know what would be great? What would I love to see? Monday, as I'm working, because I'm at work, <laughs> but uh, I'll be, uh, you know, keep, you know, tuning in as much as I can. Half-Life 3 is announced. Fantasy Star Online's coming in. And Last Guardian. And Last Guardian, all three well. of our retarded <laughs> we'll predictions. Like, Whoa. <laughs> well, let's, let's rephrase that. It's not retarded for mine. Oh, okay. Sure. <laughs> and yours is actually probably the most likely, really, when you think about the it. The Nintendo one? Because it exists already. It's been out for so long, though, and it's still not here. Sega, oh, then, please. <laughs> yeah. I mean, come on. All you Sega people that listen, please. I wouldn't care if that was a subscription-based MMO. I would pay $50 a month to play Fantasy 50? Star Online 2. Really? Yes. I would do it in a heartbeat. If it, if it's exactly like Fantasy Star Online 1 with better graphics and a you better online infrastructure, bucks. I, in a heartbeat, I love that game a so month. much. Yes. Wow. Without even thinking about it. I'd be like, that's money well spent. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we can all safely agree that Nintendo's going to do something weird. Yes. We don't, we're don't. we all going to be like, why are they doing this? <laughs> I, I think we can all agree that this E3 is going to be pretty... Yeah. Last year, I said last yeah. year. I remember thinking this one's gonna be really good because the consoles and, and the consoles are always generally good. This but this year, year this is the year of the games. Yeah. Last year, here's our new consoles. Here's what's here's our here's our shitty launch titles. This year is where this is where the guns. The this is when you get your gloves on. This We've is where they the come out. Figured fight. out. Yeah. This is they're gonna talk about system updates, all that good stuff. I this year's. I'm hopeful. For I, I, I this year. This year might be a good year for Sony to actually not be boring. I know that's my given, I said, they and they will be boring, but... They, they need to not be boring. They need this to do is... something with their first-party titles, because, I mean, we still don't really know the Drive Club, which looks shitty, <laughs> Order 1886, which I know you said you're excited about, but I don't really care about that. And we have the Last of Us remake coming. Is what Watch else Dogs? is there? It's the Last is of Us Watch remake, Dogs? though. Or is Watch that... Dogs comes out next is that, Tuesday. Is that... That's third-party. That's, that's Ubisoft. Third party. Okay, that's... Okay. So... I mean, I, they, I would love to see. Speaking of Ubisoft, I would love to see a thirteen two. Remember that game thirteen? Oh, I never that played. You mean freaking? Oh, okay. I was about to say. No, already not got 13-2. Final <laughs> Fantasy. <laughs> oh. I would have said Final Fantasy thirteen. Got, oh, there's there's an thirteen. The first person shooter from, based on the French comic book. I've heard about Final a, Fantasy fifteen. I loved it. Yeah, it's coming out. Yeah, yeah they that'll be there. Last year. Does it look like the exact same art as the other ones? Yeah. See, that's the boring part. Since Final Fantasy ten. They have not had different art style. It's Final boring. Fantasy needs to die. We talked about that yes. last time. Yeah. Kingdom Hearts 3 is going to be there. I'll go ahead and predict that. I, Star Wars ooh, characters ooh, I are in it that, this yeah. time. Oh, that God, would be balling. And Marvel. I, I that would will be cool. <laughs> say that Kingdom Hearts 3 will maybe be there, 
But as soon as they said last year they showed it, they're like, we probably made a mistake and we should have waited. There'll because be a it's teaser, gonna be I for a you. long wait. There definitely won't be a mistake. And they told us update. they uh who makes it? I don't even remember. Square Square Enix. Square Enix. Square Enix. They said last year after their announcement trailer, which I was excited about, they said prepare for a long wait. Yeah. They will probably release have the release date for a remix two though. For uh the H D Drew Remix two. Uh that I can see, I can see releasing. That, yeah. But they might show something from Kingdom Hearts three, but I'm not gonna hold my breath on that. Probably just a teaser. Just just maybe a little bit more of the gameplay. Mm. Oh. I would love to see Star Wars characters LA Marvel because be if, awesome. if they don't, they're wasting a lot of potential. Yeah. The Hulk versus Darth Vader. Gonna throw that out there. <laughs> That'd be so sweet. Darth Vader would win, man. Uh, I don't know. The Hulk's the Hulk. Darth, does, Darth Vader's like, nope, you can't touch me. I got the Force. Like I said earlier, so many problems can be solved by just saying, I know, but whoop, the Force. I know, but it's the Hulk. <laughs> the more you fight the Hulk, the stronger he gets. You don't have to fight him. The, <laughs> He's yeah, Darth no, I, okay, so you're telling me if Darth Vader is holding the Hulk in his Force grip, he's just going to start calming down and not get fucking frothing at the mouth and somehow break through. Throw him in space. He can survive <laughs> in space. But he can't come back. He, yes, he can. How? He just fucking He lands. swims in space like like he's underwater. He How far do you think he's going <laughs> to throw him in space? Just enough to where he's just constantly moving his force, his mass. Science, the man. Hulk, science. Science, science, science. All the Hulk. I can tell you how that do. Hulk would turn around, and start screaming, and he'd go backwards. Oh, sound waves. Uh, wait, well, but he doesn't have any air left in him. It's the Hulk. He does. Trust me. The Hulk killed. But you Thor can't once. make. I don't know. <laughs> you can't make something out of nothing. No, the Hulk is the Hulk, though. She can cheat. It'd be a good match. That's like Superman versus Goku. Screw attack. But they can they. The reason Superman won was because Superman is stupid and broken. The Hulk is really is broken. He is not as broken as Superman because he doesn't always. He's not always like that. But the Hulk's power really is if the strong. The more he fights, the stronger he gets. I still think Darth Vader just be like. Beep. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't think. I mean, they wouldn't for the action scene because I don't think they want to make a good fight. But in reality, I don't see that even in reality. Imagine if you had like the Hulk as a boss fight in Kingdom Hearts, though. That would be that would be sweet. That'd be awesome. <laughs> okay, so is that our E3 podcast? Yeah, I think that's gonna wrap us up for this week. Uh, thank you for tuning in, listening to Video Game Wondercast. Uh, we post usually. I've we've been trying to post every Tuesday. We might end up changing the day because we've missed the Tuesday uh, post a lot this month. <laughs> um, just because it's hard to kind of get all three of us together since we live about an hour away from each other. But if you would like to be a part of the show, you can always follow us on Twitter. It's at VG Wondercast. And if you want to write in, you can email us. And the email address is VGWondercast at gmail.com. Until next time, keep on gaming.